All right, all right, all right. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another day with Bible Time with the J Squad family. I'm Dad, and it's been a minute since y'all seen me. I got a new phone. I've had some issues. I've had my dog chewed up my book and a whole bunch of tissues. Um, anyway, guys, so we're back. Uh, I got the Holy Bible New King James Version, Old Testament. We're picking up in Exodus 35, uh, chapter 35. We're picking up from where we left off last time. Um, it's been a minute since I've been on here and I super apologize. We've had boating, we've had work, we've had uh, some updates on my wife's back and her surgery. And I got a new phone and it's just been hectic, y'all. But God bless everybody. Thank you for joining me once again. I need to go live. I do have 60 some odd subscribers now. So thank you guys. Thank you all for sharing. Thank God. Thank Jesus. Thank, thank God for this platform that we get to use to spread the love of God and spread his word. Um, YouTube might not like it, but guess what? Nobody cares because Jesus lives. Jesus is the king. Jesus is the answer. And we all need to spread God's love so that we can all be strong independent men and women and have solid ground and have faith and be just strong and diligent and everything vigilant in everything that we do um and god is the only answer god is the way the truth the life he is the author and the finisher of our destinies he knows everything he knows all he created us in his image and we need to stand up and be proud of that and spread god's love so that other people can find God's love. Uh, the people that live in dark places or live in darkness and, and don't get the chance to have somebody teach them. That's what we're here for. So thank you for sharing our videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Go to yourspot.com, Y-O-R-E-S-P-O-T.com, your spot, where you can actually speak freely and be yourself and not be censored. Yourspot.com is a place for freedom of speech, freedom and liberty and justice for all. Uh, Yourspot.com, they're actually selling their site or a portion of. I was fortunate enough, by the grace of God, to purchase uh, some of the site. And there's plenty of room for more owners. And if you want to be an owner of the best alternative to Facebook and all that other garbage, you know, yourspot.com, buddy. Uh, check it out. Subscribe. Be a member. I mean, it's free. Um, but if you want to be, you know, part owner, they're selling part of the uh, site to the public. So I have 100% pure faith in God that my investment uh, is for my children and that it'll work out the way it's supposed to. Um, well, anyways, y'all, I'm on my lunch break. I love to do these things on my lunch break because I love to dig into the Word of God in the middle of my day. I am working from home in my beautiful office and my beautiful wife, uh, if you all have been watching these videos, you know she has some major back problems. She is going in for her pre-op surgery for her back for her L4 and L5 uh, herniated discs. She's going in Monday for pre-op and then next Thursday she's actually going to go into surgery for L4 and L5 lower back discs ham uh, hemorrhaging I guess you'd say not hemorrhaging but bulging uh, they're bad and she's always had a hard time walking and moving and stuff so we pray to God that this will help strengthen her and help her be happier as a mother and so that she can play with her children. I know she's going to be a little bit stiff, but if y'all could pray for my beautiful wife and, and the doctors and just pray that the doctor's uh, tools will be sharp but yet precise and, and that they can work diligently and swiftly to help fix her back. It's going to be a hard month, man. Christmas is right around the corner, praise God. Thanksgiving's right around the corner, praise God. We all love you. Um, pray for my wife. I'll pray for your wife. I'll pray for your husband. I'll pray for everybody. Um, let's get into Exodus 35 and spread the love of God. 
Jesus loves you all. Jesus is the King. He's the way, the truth, the life. Amen, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'll pray like I always do because everybody needs prayer. And even if you uh, don't believe in prayer, it works. Prayer is powerful. Prayer is amazing. I've seen prayer do insane things. And I've actually been uh, someone who was able to accept uh, changes in my life because I ask people to pray for me. So if you have any prayer requests, toss them down in the comment section, share my videos. God bless you all. We love you. Jesus loves you. Amen. Amen. So hat hair, boom, baby. Look at that. I spent all night getting my hair to look that good. So dear God, Father in heaven, thank you so very much for sending your son to die on the cross for our sins. And thank you for allowing him to raise me. Uh, from the tomb and take his right hand place at your side God uh, thank you for your mercies and your grace and please bless our days and our nights with peacefulness and happiness and wholesomeness and and financial freedoms please watch over anyone who watches these videos God and, and put it in their heart to subscribe and share these cha this channel just you know because I'm just trying to do what you told me to and, and spread your love and spread the word of God to as many people that uh, get to listen or choose to listen. So please bless these people who watch and share these videos. Please bless their families. Please watch over our children while they're in school and keep violence out of our schools. Please watch over our police and our military. And please, Lord Jesus, please put your hand on the office of the presidency and, and help us out in this country. We need some, we need some, we need some Jesus. We need you, God. We need Jesus. We need you, Jesus, to, to spread your light upon the land, spread your light across the land, spread your love across the land, and help us to become a strong, united body of Christ to where we can stand up to evil and defeat evil just like you have. You've already, you've already defeated everything, Lord. Just We need help uh, down here, and I, you're the only one that can help us in the way that we need help, Lord God. So please, Jesus, please shed your light upon all of us. Please bless, you know, my wife and and my mom and, and my wife's mom and my wife's dads and my dad and, and our children. And please watch over everybody's children in, in this whole nation, in this whole world, God. The children are the future and the children need you, Jesus. They've already tried to take God out of the schools. They've tried to take God out of our work. But we will not let that happen. We need to stand strong as a united body of Christ and 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 let your name prevail above everything and all things in the name of jesus amen in the name of god amen thank you jesus for everything lord hallelujah praise you god you deserve all the grace and glory in the name of jesus amen amen yeah so hat hair going on let's get on to exodus 35 that looks way better right brandedbills.com baby if you don't know what that is check it out brandedbills.com Come, baby. All right. So go to yorespot.com and set yourself up an account with yourspot.com. And let's get into the book. Let's get into the word of God. Amen. Amen. So I'll see y'all on the flip side. All right, beautiful people, God's people. So we are picking up in Exodus chapter 35 where we left off. This has been so beautiful so far. We've heard of Aaron and everybody becoming, uh, you know, becoming people who can uh, see. I don't. I don't want to go back too far because then I'll get lost. But uh, Aaron and everybody got the robes and everything made for them, and then and then we got the Ten Commandments that was made, and now we're in verse thirty-five. Then Moses gathered all of the congregation of the children of Israel together and said to them, These are the words which the Lord has commanded you to do. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh day shall be a holy day for you, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire throughout your day, your dwellings on the Sabbath day. And Moses spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, this is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take from among you an offering to the Lord. Whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it as an offering to the Lord, gold, silver, and bronze, 
blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen, and goat's hair. Ram skins dyed red, badger skins, and acacia wood. Oil for the light, and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. Onyx stones and stones to be set in, a, in the ephod and in the breastplate. All who are gifted artisans among you shall come and make all that the Lord has commanded. The tabernacle, its tent, its coverings, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets, the ark and its poles, with the mercy seat and the veil of the covering, the table and its poles, all its utensils, and the showbread. Also the lampstand for the lights, its utensils, its lamps, and the oil for the light, the incense altar, its poles, the anointing oil, the sweet incense, and the screen for the door at the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offerings with its bronze gathering, grating, its poles and its utensils, and the layer, and the laver, and its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars, their sockets, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs of the tabernacle, the pegs of the court, and their cords, the garments of ministry for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister as priests. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. Then every one came whose heart was stirred, and every one whose spirit was willing, and they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of meeting, for all its service, and for the holy garments. They came both men and women, as many as had a willing heart, and brought er earrings and nose rings, rings and necklaces, all jewelry of gold, that is, every man who made an offering of gold to the Lord. And every man with whom was found blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat's hair, red skins of rams and badger skins brought them. Everyone who offered an offering of silver or bronze brought the Lord's offering. And everyone with whom was found acacia wood for any work of the service brought it. All the women who were gifted artisans spun yarn with their hands and brought what they had spun of blue, purple, and scarlet and fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred with wisdom spun yarn of goat's hair. The rulers brought onyx stones and the stones to be set in the ephod in the breastplate and in the breastplate and spices for oil for the light, for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a freewill offering to the Lord. All the men and women whose hearts were willing to bring material for all kinds of work which the Lord by the hand of Moses has commanded them to be done. And Moses said to the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, and the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and understanding, in knowledge and all manner of workmanship. To design artistic works, to work in gold and silver and bronze, in cutting jewels for setting and carving wood, and to work in all the manner of artistic workmanship. And he has put in his heart the ability to teach, in him and Aholib, Aholib the son of Ashmach of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to do all manner of work of the engraver and the designer and the tapestry maker, in blue, purple, and scarlet thread and fine linen and of the weaver, those who do every work and those who design artistic works. And Bezalel and Aholiab and every gifted artisan in whom the Lord has put wisdom and understanding to know how to do all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary shall do according to all that the Lord has commanded. Then Moses called Bezalel and Aholiab, and every gifted artisan in whose heart the Lord who had the Lord had put wisdom, everyone whose heart was stirred to come and do the work. And they received from Moses all the offering for which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of making the sanctuary. So they continued bringing to him free will offerings every morning. Then all the craftsmen who were doing all the work of the sanctuary came, each from the work he was doing. And they spoke to Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of work which the Lord had commanded us to do. 
So Moses gave a commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman do any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. And the people were restrained from bringing, for the material they had was sufficient for all the work to be done, indeed too much. Then all the gifted artisans among them who worked on the tabernacle made ten curtains woven of fine linen uh, and of blue, purple, and scarlet thread. With artistic designs of cherubim they made them. The length of each curtain was twenty-eight cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits, and the curtains were all the same size. And he coupled five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. He made loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtain on on the selvage of one set. Likewise he did on the outer edge of the other curtain of the second set. Fifty loops he made on one curtain, and fifty loops he made on the edge of the curtain. On the end of the second set, the loops held one curtain to another. And he made fifty clasps of gold, and coupled the curtains to one another with the clasps, that it might be one tabernacle. He made curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle. He made eleven curtains. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits, and eleven curtains were the same size. He coupled five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that is the outermost in one set, and fifty loops he made on the edge of the curtain of the second set. He also made fifty bronze clasps to to couple the tent together that it might be one. Then he made a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering of badger skins above that. For the tabernacle he made boards of acacia wood standing upright. The length of each board was ten cubits, and the width of each board a cubit and a half. Each board had two tenons for binding one another. Thus he made for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side, Forty sockets of silver he made to go under the twenty boards, two sockets under each of the boards for its two tendons, tenons. And for the other side of the tabernacle, the north side, he made twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. For the west side of the tabernacle, he made six boards. He also made two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle, and they were coupled at the bottom and coupled together at the top by one ring. Thus he made both of them for the two corners. So there were eight boards and their sockets, sixteen sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. And he made bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five boards for the boards five bars for the boards of the tabernacle on the far side westward. And he made the middle bar to pass through the boards from one end to the other. He overlaid the boards with gold, made their rings of gold to be holders for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue, purple, and scarlet thread and fine woven linen. It was worked with an artistic design of cherubim. He made for it four pillars of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, with their hooks of gold and he cast four sockets of silver for them. He also made a screen for the tabernacle door of blue, purple, and scarlet thread and fine woven linen made by a weaver, and and its five pillars with their hooks, and he overlaid their capitals and their rings with gold, but their five sockets were bronze. Then Bezalel made the Ark of the Acacia Wood. Two and a half cubits was its length, a cubit and a half was its width, and a cubit and a half its height. He overlaid it with pure gold inside and out, and made a molding of gold all around it. And he cast it, and he cast for it four rings of gold to be set in its four corners, two rings on one side and two rings on the other side. He made poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, and he put the poles into the rings at the sides of the ark to bear the ark. He also made the mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits was its length, and a cubit and a half its width. He made two cherubim of beaten gold, he made them of one piece at the two ends of the mercy seat. One cherub at one end on this side, and the other cherub at the other end on that side. 
He made the cherubim at the two ends of one piece with a mercy seat. The cherubim spread out their wings above the co and covered the mercy seat with their wings. They faced one another. The faces of the cherubim were towards the mercy seat. He made the table of acacia wood. Two cubits was its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And he overlaid it with pure gold and made a molding of gold all around it. Also he made a frame of a hand breadth all around it and made a molding of gold for the frame all around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold and put the rings on all four corners that were its four legs. The rings were close to the frame as holders for the poles to bear the table. And he made the poles of acacia wood to bear the table and overlaid them with gold. He made of pure gold the utensils which were on the table, its dishes, its cups, its bowls, and its pitchers for pouring. He also made the lampstand of pure gold, of hammered work he made the lampstand. Its shaft, its branches, its bowls, its ornamental knobs, and its flowers were of the same piece. And six branches came out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out on one side, and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side. There were three bowls made like almond blossoms on one branch, with an ornamental knob and a flower, and three bowls made like almond blossoms on the other branch, with an ornamental knob and a flower. And so for the six branches coming out of the lampstand, and on the lampstand itself were four bowls made like almond blossoms, each with its ornamental knob and flower. There was a knob under the first two branches of the same, a knob under the second two branches of the same, and a knob under the third two branches of the same, according to the six branches extending from it. Their knobs and their branches were of one piece, all of it was one hammered piece of pure gold, and he made its seven, it, he made its seven lamps, its, wickers trimmer, its wick trimmers, and its trays of pure gold. Of a talent of pure gold he made it, with all his, its utensils. He made the incense altar of acacia wood. Its length was a cubit and its width a cubit. It was a square. And he and two cubits was its height. Its horns were of one piece with it. And he overlaid it with pure gold, its top, its sides all around, and its horns. He also made for it a molding of gold all around it. He made two rings of gold for it under its molding. By its two corners on both sides as holders for the poles with which to bear it. And he made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. He also made the holy anointing oil and pure incense of sweet spices according to the work of the, perf of the perfumer. He made the altar of burnt offering of acacia wood. Five cubits was its length and five cubits its width and it, it was square and its height was three cubits. He made its horns on its four corners, the horns were of one piece with it, and, it, and he overlaid it with bronze. He made all the utensils for the altar, the pans, the shovels, the, basin, the basins, the forks, the fire pans, all the utensils he made of bronze. And he made a grate of bronze network for the altar, under its rim midway from the bottom. He cast four rings for the four corners of the bronze grating as holders for the poles. And he made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with bronze. Then he put the poles into the rings on the sides of the altar with which to bear it. He made an altar he made the altar hollow with boards. He made the laver of bronze and its base of bronze from the bronze mirrors of the serving women who assembled at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Then he made the court on the south side. The hangings of the court were of fine woven linen, one hundred cubits long. There were twenty pillars for them, with twenty bronze sockets. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver. On the north side, the hangings were one hundred cubits long, with twenty pillars and their twenty bronze sockets. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver. And on the west side, there were hangings of fifty cubits, with ten pillars and their ten sockets. <coughs> The hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver. For the east side of the hangings were fifty cubits. The hangings of one side of the gate were fifteen cubits long with their three pillars and their three sockets. And the same for the other side of the court gate. On this side 
and that were hangings of 15 cubits with th their three pillars and their three sockets. All, of, all the hangings of the court all around were of fine woven linen. The sockets for the pillars were bronze, the hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver, and the overlay of their capitals was silver, and all the pillars of the court had bands of silver. The screen for the, great, the, screen for the gate of the court was woven of purple, of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen. The length was twenty cubits, and the height along its width was five cubits, corresponding to the hangings of the court. And there were four pillars with their four sockets of bronze, their hooks were silver, and the overlay of their capitals and their bands was silver. All the pegs of the tabernacle and of the court all around were bronze. This is the inventory of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony which was counted according to the commandment of Moses for the services, for the service of the Levites by the hand of Ithamar, son of Aaron the priest. Bezalel the son of Uri, the son of Hur, and the tribe of Judah, of the tribe of Judah, made all that the Lord had commanded Moses. And with him was Aholiab, the son of Asamach, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver and designer, a weaver of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine linen. All of the gold that was used, all of the work of that holy of the holy place, that is, the gold of the offering, was twenty-nine talents and seven hundred and thirty shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And the silver from those who were numbered of the congregation was one hundred talents and one thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven or seventy-five shekels, according to the shekel of sanctuary. A becca for each man, that is a half a shekel, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. For everyone included in the numbering from twenty years old and above, for six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifty men. And from the hundred talents of silver were cast the sockets of the sanctuary and the bases of the veil, one hundred sockets from the hundred talents, one talent for each socket. Then from one, then from the one thousand seven hundred and seventy-five shekels he made hooks for the pillars, overlaid their capitals, and made bands for them. The offering of bronze was seventy talents and two thousand four hundred shekels. And with it he made the sockets for the door of the tabernacle of meeting, the bronze altar, the bronze grating for it, and all the utensils for the altar. All the sockets for the court all around, the bases for the court gate, all the pegs for the tabernacle, and all the pegs for the court all around. Of the blue, purple, and scarlet thread they made garments of ministry, for ministering in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen. And they beat the gold into thin sheets and cut it into threads to work it to work it in with the blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and the fine linen into artistic designs. They made shoulder straps for it to couple it together. It was coupled together at its two edges, and the intricacy woven band of the of his ephod was that was on it was of the same workmanship woven of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And they set onyx stones enclosed in settings of gold. They were engraved as signets are engraved with the names of the sons of Israel. He put them on the shoulders of the ephod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel as the Lord had commanded Moses. And he made the breastplate artistically woven like the workmanship of the ephod of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen. They made the breastplate square by doubling it. A span was its length and a span its width when doubled. And they set it in four rows of stones, a row with a sardius, a topaz, and an emerald was the first row. The second row a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. The third row a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. The fourth row a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in settings of gold in their mountings. There were twelve stones according to the names of the sons of Israel, according 
to their names engraved like a signet, each one with its own name according to the twelve tribes. And they made chains for the breastplate at the ends like braided cords of pure gold. They also made two settings of gold and two gold rings, and put the two gold and put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two braided chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. The two ends of the two braided chains they fastened into in the two set settings and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in the front. And they made two rings of gold and put them into two ends of the breastplate. On the edge of it, which was on the inward side of the ephod, they made two other gold rings and put them on the two shoulder straps underneath the ephod toward the, its front, right at the seam above the intricately woven band of the ephod. And they bound the breastplate by means of its rings to the rings of the ephod with a blue cord, uh, cord so that it would be above the intricately woven band of the, of the ephod, and that the breastplate would not come loose from the ephod as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the robe of the ephod of woven work, all of blue, and there was an opening in the middle of the robe like the opening of, in a coat of mail with a woven binding all around the opening so that it would not tear. They made on the hem of the robe pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet, and of fine woven linen, and they made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates on the hem of the robe all around uh, between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, all around the hem of the robe to minister in, as the Lord had commanded Moses. They made tunics artistically woven of fine linen for Aaron and his sons, a turban of fine linen, exquisite hats of fine linen, short trousers of fine woven linen, and a sash of fine woven linen with blue, purple, and scarlet thread made by a weaver, as the Lord had commanded Moses. Then they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and wrote on it an inscription like the engraving of a signet holiness to the lord and they tied it to the blue cord to fasten it above the turban as the lord had commanded moses thus all the work of the tabernacle of the tent meeting was finished and the children of israel did according to all that the lord had commanded moses so they did and they brought the tabernacle to moses the tent and all its furnishings, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets. The covering of ram skins dyed red, the covering of badger skins, and the veil of the covering. The ark of the testimony with its poles and the mercy seat. The table, all its utensils, and the showbread. The pure gold lampstand with its lamps, the lamp set in order. All the utensils and the oil for light. The gold altar, the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, the screen for the tabernacle door. The bronze altar, its grate of bronze, its poles and all its utensils, the laver with its base. The hangings of the court, its pillars and its sockets. The screen for the court gate, its cords and its pegs. All the utensils for the service of the tabernacle for the tent of meeting. And the garments of ministry to minister in the holy place the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and his son's garments to minister as priests. According to all the Lord had commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did all the work. Then Moses looked over all the work, and indeed they had done it, as the Lord had commanded, just so they had done it, and Moses blessed them. I bet you that that meeting place, that tabernacle, was absolutely stunning and beautiful. Boy, would it be amazing to be able to see what they had created. Thank you for joining us again. Thanks for sticking around for 34 minutes. We love you all. God bless you all. God bless this world. God bless our children. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Join us again and subscribe. God bless you all. Amen.